I've got the basic idea of what I want to do here to uh, operate this cell. I've got a little lab jack here, and I built a, uh, let me lower this down so it doesn't fall when I take the brick off. I built a, like a uh, holder, a basket, out of that uh, four gauge copper wire. I made a uh, basket out of copper mesh that I ordered on eBay. And then I used uh, solid copper clips to hold it all in place. It seems to be uh, working pretty good here. It's fairly sturdy. And what we do, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put it into the cell like this. I can kind of maneuver things around it when I get it, uh, get it working here. And what we'll do, is we'll crank on this uh, lab jack that I bought a hundred years ago. I never used it for anything. Well, I guess I've used it for some burner things. And uh, we'll be able to uh, fill this up with electrolyte now. I'll collect, connect a positive lead on here and a negative lead on here off a battery charger. And then the sulfuric acid will be in here. And then we'll just, once we we'll turn the power on and then just slowly lower this into the electrolyte and we'll kind of have to keep a watch on the battery charger we don't want to overload it but I think this is going to work pretty good and uh, next step is to go through all this uh, scrap gold plated stuff and I'll probably sort it all out and get the good stuff that is convenient to go in here some stuff ain't gonna fit so i'll get all the chains and all that stuff sorted out and i'm gonna run it through the ultrasonic cleaner and get it nice and clean steam it all off get all the dirt off of it and we'll put it in this basket and uh we'll first before we do that we'll weigh it up make sure uh we can calculate what our yield's going to be. And then we'll uh, put it in that basket and then lower it down into the uh, cell, like so. Just a little more here about the cell. This is a uh, piece of lead. And I just uh, hammered it into shape there and created some hooks so it would uh, hang on the edge of the dish here. This is a large roasting pyrex roasting dish made of pyrex and that's large enough to put a big chicken in it and roast it it comes with a nice lid here so that when we get done uh doing a batch of uh of the gold plated material we can put this lid on and put it up secure it so it's not uh, gonna so nothing will fall in there let's see what else okay on this this is a piece of channel stock that I bought. It's just aluminum channel. And I got some lead that I bought on eBay. There's just hunks of lead, real cheap. And I poured those, I melted those in a melt dish and uh, oiled the channel stock with a little bit of three in one oil and then just when the lead got molten, I just poured it in the channel here and formed a long piece of lead out of it. And then I just folded the corners here and beat it real good with a hammer so it stayed in place. And then I uh, fashioned the uh, little uh, hooks there to fit on the edge of the dish. All right, somebody else was asking about what's in the drain cleaner the drain cleaner contains 93 percent concentrated sulfuric acid this is ruto professional drain cleaner and it's available at ace hardware i think it's about 15 
it may be 20 bucks for a gallon of it, but this is what I'll be using as the electrolyte in the cell. I'll just fill the cell up to about right here with this uh, drain cleaner. And then, uh, like I said, we'll put the positive lead on this, negative lead on the uh, cathode over here, which is made out of lead, somebody correctly said. And then we'll lower the uh, uh, gold plated material down into the electrolyte with the battery charger connected to it and reverse plate all of the uh, gold plating off of these pieces of gold plated material. And uh, all right, that'll conclude this section.